Welcome and good morning. Welcome to Mike Ferry TV. It's the week of April 13th, 2015. This year is going by fast. The days are slipping away. We've got to do something about it. We've got to take action to take listings, make sales, make money. What we're going to look at today is a little bit different than what we do in the past. I've had a lot of questions come up, and they, the questions revolve around the fact that a lot of you are diligently working on taking listings. Boy, congratulations on that. You're out doing those activities and actions designed to help you get listing presentations. Congratulations. And there seems to be, among a lot of people, a little breakdown when it comes to one portion of what I do with a potential seller. Now, let, let's be honest. How do you differentiate yourself walking in the door when there's going to be, in many cases, two or three other people working to get that same listing presentation? Don't kid yourself. Today, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 50 years ago, the most common thing that you're going to work against on a listing presentation is not your inability, your lack of skills. What you're going to work against is the competition because the, the, the public has been so programmed over the years to interview two, three, four agents to try to select the one that they think is best. So this morning I had a conversation with one of our great clients and I, and I made a statement and I, and I think I took the lady a little off guard. We conversed on it, she understood it, she accepted it. So here's what I said to her. The market today in 2015 is so competitive. In fact, it's more competitive today than ever before, but in a very different way, meaning if we have a million real estate agents in the US, for example, there's only a handful that really understand how to sell. But that handful is in every marketplace doing a great job and the masses are getting nowhere. So how do we help some of you that may be in the masses move into that level of higher productivity? So what I said to this lady was this, the sellers are not more sophisticated today than they were in the past. They're not any better educated. Oh yes, they can go to the web, big deal, okay? Everything that you can imagine is on the web. I saw a great line a couple days ago where the guy said, and it was a live quote, the web is the cesspool of human beings today. Every single thing you don't want to have people know about you is there. All the lies are being told and the fabrications are being published. It was an interesting quote. So yeah, they all have access to the web. Okay, they can all go there and see a listing that is for sale. We're not talking about that. What we're talking about is the fact that you do a good job, you prospect, you get a lead, you follow up, you set an appointment, you pre-qualify, you send out the pre-listing package, you, you've done everything right. And then you show up and you're going to be one of three or four agents working to get that listing. How do they decide who they're going to pick? See, there's the catch. How do they decide? Well, you know, Mike, I have a lot of great things I say. I'm number one in my market and, you know, I do the most advertising. Well, you know, there's always those kind of factors that come into play. We know that. But see, the truth is, on the everyday, day-to-day -day business, how do they decide? So what I said to this lady is, it's 7 o'clock. I knock on the door. They open the door. And unfortunately, many times, in the first three to four seconds, they decide. As soon as they see us, they decide. You know, they, as soon as that door opens up, there's a positive or negative or a question mark going through their head because the image that we present starts the conversation in a positive or negative manner before we even know the conversation has been started. Before we've had a chance to say, good evening, Mrs. Smith, I'm so excited to be here tonight. To get your home on the market, get it sold, May I take a walk through your home? Before we can get those words out, many times they've decided. So therefore, you, what you've heard me say for the last four years is upgrade, 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 upgrade. Okay, watch. Are they opening that door and seeing a professional salesperson? Are they seeing a person that is confident? Are they seeing a person that puts their hand out and shakes their hand and says, I am the man, I am the woman to list your home tonight and get it sold? Or they seeing a person says, oh, I'm so happy to be here, and gosh, your home is so pretty, and I'll work real hard, you know, I have to feed my family. What a bunch of nonsense that is. So unfortunately, 
when I look at how to differentiate myself from the competition, part of it is image. Because that great advertising campaign with Andre Agassi for years on TV, image is everything. Image is everything. What image are you presenting? Now here's the hard part. We all look in the mirror and we see a handsome and beautiful person. There's no reality in the mirrors. There's no reality, okay? Are you presenting yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally in a professional manner? Or are you promoting yourself in a manner that is cool at the time? I always kid about these young fellows in our seminars that wear the pyramids on top of their head. I said, what the heck is that pyramid all about? Several weeks ago in Riverside, California, we had two young men, handsome, well-dressed young men. One had the pyramid sticking straight up at the top of his head, and one had this goofy beard. So I challenged the young man with the goofy beard to shave it off. And I challenged the young guy with the pyramid to get rid of it. Well, the next day they came to the seminar, everybody applauded. Because both of them were professional young men that looked so much better without being cool. Watch, is the image you're presenting one of being cool or is it one of being professional? You probably don't want to get on a commercial jet and see the pilot standing at the door in a t-shirt, okay, and sandals and a pair of shorts. Welcome aboard, folks. Captain Bob here. You go, whoa, wait a minute. You don't want to go to a doctor and have the doctor sitting there dressed in casual attire. You expect a certain image. The sellers expect a certain image. So let's go beyond that. Once you get inside that door, do you have the right things to say? Because that's going to differentiate you once you get past the initial meeting between yourself and your competition. Do you walk in and go, oh my gosh, I just love your home. What difference does that make that you love the home? Or as I've said for years, if you love the home so much, why don't you buy it at the price you're going to list it for? Well, I would never do that. It's overpriced. Thank you. So don't say things that are not going to be taken in a professional manner that are designed to get them to list their home with you. But see, then it really comes down to one issue. You follow the scripts, you make your presentation, you do a good job, you've covered your CMA, you've agreed upon a price, and then they always want to ask a couple of questions like this. Would you consider cutting your commission? No. Any other questions? Well, the competition said they would do it. Well, then I'm going to suggest if you're only looking for a commission, you list to the competition. But if you're looking for professional service, you look right here to me. And if you want the best service, I'm sitting in front of you. Let's get started. Or they'll say something like this. Well, we've talked to three of you. We, we need to know what, what, what are you going to do to get my home sold? And this is where the people that are trained through the Mike Free organization have a huge advantage because we offer to you, we suggest to you, we give you a plan of action that you can take the seller through step by step by step by step. Our plan of action has 18 steps that you're going to follow to get the home sold. So what I want you to think about today on our short message is, are you differentiating yourself from your competition? Or are you just one of many that they talk to? Yes, they will sometimes pick somebody because it's a strong referral. We know that. Yes, they will pick somebody because they have a big advertising campaign. Yeah, we know that. Yes, they'll pick somebody because, you know, they've been dropping off pumpkins at their door every month for the last two years. We know that. But in the mainstream of our business, yours and mine, they're going to select a professional salesperson based upon the fact that they look, act, talk, and walk like a professional salesperson. Are you that person? If you're not, let's help you get there. We can help you get there, but you have to participate. We can't do it without you. See you next week.